Hey guys, welcome to the fourth episode in overcoming social anxiety. I'm Jakob Carlson and uh, I was at one point diagnosed with social anxiety myself. And I'm making these videos in order to share with you guys the lessons I learned on my own journey. Today, I will be sharing a really scary but powerful tool that you can use in overcoming this annoying problem. And the topic of today will be get rid of your toxic shame. Previous to me being diagnosed with uh, social anxiety, I lived what I'd considered a normal life. Uh, I went to university, I played video games with my friends, I worked out in the gym and I partied on the weekends. On the surface, I didn't think this looked too bad. And uh, honestly, I did not think it would be enough to uh, throw me out of the boat, but it was. And my question was why? Well, one of those whys I will be sharing with you guys today. So when I was finished with my studies and I had gotten my degree, I was in no mental condition to have a corporate job. So I decided to do something completely different. Uh, some of my friends uh, recommended me going to a Christian boarding school in Toronto, Canada that uh, has a good reputation for helping people that are burnt out or just people that need a break from life in general. So I said, whatever, let's go, let's do that. And uh, I came to Canada and uh, went into the school. I was assigned a small group with six other guys. And uh, one day I walked into our session. I was given a piece of paper and a pen. And our small group leader said, I want you guys to write down everything you're ashamed of on this list. Um, and I want you to read it out loud while keeping eye contact with me and for everyone to hear. Uh, I was sweating. I was like, oh no, this is not sounds like a good idea to me. Um, not only do I struggle keeping eye contact, but I had a long list of things that I didn't want anyone to know, right? Uh, I was like, yeah, maybe I should just do a cop out. I can just maybe tell some things or figure out some, some side stories that's, that might sound uh, true, but not really true. And I went on thinking these thoughts until my small group leader said this, and that was the value you get out of this exercise is equivalent to uh, your vulnerability. And I was like, man, oh, these guys are definitely not going to want to be my friend after I share all the things that I'm ashamed of. If I share my dark secrets with these guys, it's just too bad. I was 100% sure that they would uh, humiliate me, that they would laugh in some way, that they would share it with someone else and uh, stuff along those lines. Despite uh, this fear, I decided let's do it. <laughs> let's just let's just be honest. And I wrote everything down. And I'm telling you guys, this was one of uh, my most valuable experiences in overcoming social anxiety. But in addition to that, actually experiencing what is real friendships. I saw my toxic belief systems being heavily challenged where I received support and empathy, where I uh, was sure that I was going to receive judgment, humiliation, criticism, etc, etc. In addition to all this, uh, I got to see other people's uh, true nature. I got to see who they really were and what they had really done, what they were ashamed of. Well, the value of this was that now I'm no longer this inhumane person who has done all these unforgivable things, but I'm here in a room with a bunch of people who are where I am and who have done things I have done or to some degree worse, to some degree better. But it made us all human. It made us all, we're all these people with all this mess. And what else came to the surface was this, that I hadn't really experienced real friendship because uh, my friends, they didn't really know exactly who I was, right? 
So with me now seeing that I'm sharing with these guys and they're all staying, they're all, they're all supporting me, they're all giving me empathy and seeing in the days ahead, they're still around. Well, now these are my friends that I can say I can trust them. And this removed that fear of people that had caused this social anxiety in my life. So I have now done this exercise with most of my friends and family members. And I tell you, I have yet to see anyone leave me because of what I've shared. And I have yet to hear anyone say, I'm sorry, Jakob, this is too much. I can not be your friend. No, on the flip side, what actually happens is that my friendship between my friends and my family members, they have gotten stronger. They've become more real and I've actually experienced meaningful uh, relationships. So my question to you is this, do you struggle with social anxiety and do you have feelings of that you're hidden, that you're unknown and that you're alone? Well, in that case, I really encourage you to do this exercise uh, with a safe person. So step number one, get a sheet of paper and get a pen, write down everything you're ashamed of, write down your dark secrets, even those that you think no one can know, especially write down those that you have thought, I'm gonna take these to my grave, right? That's the first step. Second step, get this list to the safe person and read it out loud. Thirdly, while keeping eye contact, okay? Last, just to mention, this is a scary exercise, uh, but if you're struggling with social anxiety, I really encourage you to face your fear regardless. And I really encourage you to do this in order to see uh, what real friendships are and what real connection between other humans are. So if you like this content, hit a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I will be making uh, more videos like this and uh, I'm excited to see you guys again. Talk to you soon.